Alright, this pro cooking episode is going to teach you some fundamentals about how to stir things and mix things. I know that seems really fucking simple. You see the instructions on something that says to stir in slowly, right? I always got this confused. I thought it meant, like, we're going to start out with Kool-Aid, for example. You want to make Kool-Aid, you put sugar in a pitcher, and you put your Kool-Aid mix in there, and you put your water in there, and you just stir it with a spoon, right? A big spoon-like thing. That's not how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you a better way. And this works with, like, a lot of things. We're going to also do ramen noodles. You can do it with gravy mixes. But, uh... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take your Kool-Aid mix. We're going to pop it in like that. I don't use sugar anymore because this aspartame-based stuff is pretty sweet and good enough. You don't really need sugar. You got your stuff in there like that, right? All right. We're going to add just a little bit of water. Just like that. We're going to do this. All right. Look, I don't have a spoon. I'm not stirring anything. I'm just spinning it around. Now we have a highly concentrated... Great Kool-Aid right there. This is a concentrate mixture. Now we're just going to take some water and we're going to fill it on up. <clears throat> like so. We're going to spray it in there. Give it a little froth. Huh? I didn't stir a goddamn thing. Some of you are wondering why well, i got all these empty ragu things back here. I was thinking about putting some yellow paint in them and then pouring the paint out so it looks like there's ragu double cheddar cheese stuff in there and you think it's like a piggy bank. So that nobody would know except all of the world because I just told them all. Okay, we're getting done. So now we got some froth here at the top. Alright. It's already been mixed at the very beginning. Oh shit, it's still pouring it from there. Okay. So now we got our Kool-Aid. No, we didn't stir a goddamn thing. Maybe pour a little lead out. A little fruit for my homies. Because you got to have room to put your, your lid in there. Ah. that. Stir in slowly. That's what they mean. Uh, if you're making gravy mix, if you put your, your milk or whatever and you boil it and you get it all hot, and then you put your gravy mix in, you're going to have clumps on the top. So you don't want to do it that way. You want to put the, the gravy mix in first, and then you kind of, Grind it all into there with your milk at the very beginning when there's just barely any milk. And you get it all into a gravy concentrate. Then you add the rest of your milk in. So it's like a gravy, like it's normally, it's mixed. You just gotta boil it. Just don't follow the instructions. Don't do what they say. Holy shit, it's bright out here. This is my yard I haven't mowed. Holy crap. My neighbor's yard is right over there. You can see the line. And then here's mine. Because that one never gets mowed because this place is for sale, but... I gotta get out and mow the yard. I thought I would check on my plants today. I'm gonna show you something I... Here's my dog cut these sunflowers. This one... It's doing good again. It's getting ready to bloom. This one's kind of leaning on the wall, but it's... It's got the thing started, whatever that is, so... Oh, the pollen's come off of it. It's on the leaf. Hopefully we'll get some sunflower seeds pretty soon. <clears throat> but, uh... Take you guys around back. Look at all the bottle rocket debris. Oh my god. Is that the fucking war zone? There's some over there. This is my bucket where I have my saplings when I was planting those trees. Now it's just a bucket of mud. And now it's starting to grow plants. More bottle rockets. That's my garage. So, uh, did I show you guys my cucumber patch last time? I think I did. Well, I'm actually. Got a cucumber now. A couple of them. Look at that. Little fat boy. First cuke. Also got one growing right there. And right there. And oh, there's a little fat boy right there. Yeah. He's gonna be nice. You gotta pick them early because they get too big and they don't taste as good. These are supposed to be salad cukes. Oh, there's one starting. There's a little fat one. Oh, yeah. I need to hoe them out again. Fucking vines are everywhere. Look at that, a bottle rocket in this one. This is a bunch of kudzu. 
it's not the best garden. I'm kind of too busy to take care of it, but we have a cucumber. Worth it. I think I'm going to get a bag of them at work. That guy grew a bunch and left for somebody to take. So. I'm going to see what mine tastes like, and then I'll check out his. I wonder if it tastes different depending on what kind of dirt you use. Or where, where you grow them. 280 pounds. Look at that, boys. That's what I'm down. That's what I'm up to. Or down to. I think I was fatter than that. I think I'm losing some weight. So, uh, I'm at work. I'm going to do a part of this pro cooking video. I'm in the uh, first aid room. Uh, so, it's got one of these weird sinks. I guess this is like, it's got foot pedals. If you want to like make the water go. So, like, if you have blood on your hands, I guess it keeps you from having to, like, touch water, like, faucets. Because if you're, like, turning things, you get blown. Check this out, by the way. I just noticed this a second ago. Dick X-ray. So I'm going to be looking at those after I get done here and see what the fuck that is about. But, um, so I'm going to show you how to stir things again. I'll show you with my Kool-Aid video how it works. I got two bags of ramen. I got one thing of powder opened and ready to put into this. I've got one powder already in here. So here's the problem I've noticed. I used to do this with ramen all the time, right? I put my water in first and then I put my powder in. And this is the wrong way to do it and I'll show you why. You sprinkle your powder on top like this, you'll get these clumps. Maybe it's just the beef one. This actually did pretty good. Oh fuck, this is not even going to work. Usually you'll get these clumps that float on top of the water. Maybe because I used cold water? Nah, that shouldn't have mattered. But you get these clumps and you have to like scatter them because the powder would stick together. Maybe it's the powder is doing it differently. So what I noticed was if you stir things in slowly like I was talking about, that's what makes it even better. You just put like, boom, that much water. Just a sprinkle of water. And then you mash it that yeah there's something about this chicken flavor and it's different from the beef if you use beef you get a lot of clumps but that actually looks like some really good piss that's what you want it to look like if you're making chicken ramen so then once you get it like you can also just do this to squish it so it's all like uh absorbed into the water and then you just dilute it with a little bit more water and then you add your noodles so that's the better way to do it. This way over here also worked today, so I may have to make some another video with some beef ramen to show you how it works, but if you've ever made beef ramen the wrong way like that, you should have seen some powdery clumps on top. Because it's like the water forms a shell around it and the dry parts on the inside stick together. And if you like separate them, it just redoes that over and over and over again. You keep getting smaller and smaller clumps. It's really annoying. Cooking has been pretty random. Uh, so I thought I'd throw in some stuff I'm doing right now. I'm making some fried green tomatoes. This one's kind of mostly red, but this one is like still green. My mom gave me these. I don't know where you got. You got to go like the Amish places or something. So I'm frying these ones. I already got breaded up in this cornmeal, a little bit of flour mixture. I got some breaded okra I put in there, and some cornmeal, and uh, I'm making some uh, fried potatoes. Which I am never good at making fried potatoes. I don't know how you can come out right. I think I got the wrong kind of skillet for it, so I'm just trying to cover it with this pie pan and kind of keep the heat all baking in there, sort of like an oven. So yeah, fried green tomatoes are really good. All this shit's pretty much vegan. I got this olive oil that I mixed with some of this regular vegetable oil. So it's like pro deep frying, but healthier version of it. So there's some of the first batch. Some more getting ready to go in. Let's pop these bad boys in there. Potatoes are looking decent, but they're more like crispy. Like I grew up eating fried potatoes and they were soft. Like maybe they're boiling them beforehand. That one's been there a little too long. Yeah, let's take some of these out. This one here kind of looks like I remember. Something like that. Can't quite get potatoes right. You gotta like start boiling them and then fry them after you get them soft a little bit. <clears throat> Let's try this again. It was weeks and weeks ago when I tried this at work. So, uh, let's see, how do I do this? Here's my bread. Fell off the back of a truck, by the way. 
So if you put your water in first, here's we'll show you how mixing stuff is is weird. That's probably about enough. Alright, so you put your water in, right? And then you got your little flavor packets. You see instructions on things sometimes it says uh, stir in slowly. Look at this. See this? You put your flavor packets in on top of the water. Uh, just with beef, I guess. It doesn't really work with chicken. So we try this at work. You end up with this kind of a mess. Get something to stir with. Right? <clears throat> so, see that? You got clumping. So if you push it down, it stays clumped and it gets all like. It doesn't mix well. Look at that. There's like clumps floating around in there. It's not mixing good. I mean, this isn't really going to change the outcome. Whatever you, if you make noodles and water like this, it's going to come out fine. But I don't like the way. That's not how you do it. That's not a good way to do it. So over here, number two, we put the powder in first. Put just a boop boop, just a smidge of water, right? Now, see, you can just mash it all up like this. Now, smear it around like that. Okay, maybe maybe a little bit more than that. Maybe just like, a, like that. Now you don't have this clumping problem. Because it's all mashed around in the bottom. See how it's a lot darker color too? That means it's a highly concentrated beef flavoring. So now I'm going to have to get another bottle of water. Take a concentrate. And you just add water. Koosh. Now, we've got a nice smooth ramen bath. There's no clumps in that. All the clumps have been mashed out ahead of time. This one, still got clumps floating on the top. Looks like crap. That's why you stir things this way. If you make in like a gravy, it's a big problem because you got to boil your, your milk in, the, in a pot and you put your gravy mix on top and it's just like this. But I'm getting a stink bug coming up my door. Ugh. Got you. Uh, gravy, I don't really eat it anymore because I went vegan, but one day I might make it again. But uh, if you put the gravy mix in first and then you put a little milk in it, it'll probably come out the same. And then you just boil that whole mixture until it gets nice and thick. Yeah, this is my uh, video on pork, uh, like stirring things in slowly, how to mix things, and uh, some random other footage from uh, my phone that I had. Oh shit! Let this old pine bough on fire, and it was like so old and dry. That's like half as big as the flame was a second ago. Look at that shit. Holy jeez.